aircrew life support personnel are the folks who care for and store everything from flight helmets to night vision goggles. At Camp Taji, the old Iraqi aircrew life support office was not the best place to work on and store electronics gear. Uh, it was improperly insulated for this environment in Iraq with the high temperatures. Uh, it had uh, quite a few intermittent electricity issues as well as extremely dirty. The building is uh, slowly falling around itself. We also needed more space because they're supposed to increase the air crew, uh, air crew maybe by threefold. So this, uh, the old facility didn't really support that. With an additional two million dollars worth of new gear on the way, ITAM Air Advisors worked with the Iraqi command and moved the equipment for over 100 pilots and crew into this new facility. Now they have more space, a clean, climate-controlled storage area, and better security. It's also the same building the pilots are briefed in, saving time as well. Because prior, they would all have to load up in a van, drive over to another facility, exit van, pick up gear, reload. So now, they all go from mission planning to this shop here, grab their equipment, and then step to the aircraft, therefore reducing step time. Camp Taji's advise and train mission is scheduled to close by the end of the year. One of the advisor's legacies would be this new facility, making it easier for Iraqi technicians to maintain their equipment and support their growing air power. Air Force Master Sergeant Gene Taylor, Camp Taji, Iraq.